Hang on. Status. Make me a knight. Make her a former vanguard. She could also use some. Orange gel. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. More vanguards? This just spells trouble. Whoa, I don't need both of you targeting me. Yeah. What do you think of that? I'll just go ahead and use this on him. I actually like this. It's like my limit break. Kinda like it. And one more should do it. There we go. Leveling up. Okay, okay. Calm down. We can we can escape still. Um Gotta fix some things though. I hope we can survive this. Get them, move. Looked a bit painful. What? Who are these guys? You're from the Church of Martell. I am Magnar, Commandant of the Church of Martell. By the orders of Lloyd the Great, I have come to take the Demon Lord Ratatosk and the Centurion's Corps. <sighs> You're all the same. Hand it over, and I will guarantee that none of you will be harmed. However, if you refuse, this town will meet the same fate as Palma Costa. Aw, snaps. Same as Palma Costa? What does he mean? What, boy? You don't know? The foolish vanguard planned to use Ratatosk's core to start a rebellion in order to destroy the Church of Martell and the Chosen. Lloyd killed all of those innocent people to steal Ratatosk's core and to quell the rebellion. What? That's what my parents died for? Imp, my servant, go! <laughs> Lady Marta, Emil, we must leave town now. Distraction Imp. Like a boss. <laughs> what should we do? If we leave, the town will be destroyed. Foolish, barbarous Silverati! Listen well. I am Commandant Magnar of the glorious Martell Knights. We have come here to arrest the vile vanguard for their crimes, blasphemy against the church, and inciting rebellions and discontentment across the world. However, we have also recently received reports from Lloyd the Great stating that the people of Ruin have been engaged in sinful cooperation with the Vanguard. Uh oh. Therefore, this whole town, along with the Vanguard, now face charges of treason against the Chosen. But I will grant one final opportunity to redeem yourselves. A girl named Marta is hiding in this city. Bring her to me. Do so. And Lloyd the Great may very well forgive your crimes. But he's not even here. Marta, 
Hand them the core on your forehead. But I... I can't. Why not? If you, the Vanguard, hadn't attempted a rebellion, Homocausta never would have been destroyed in the first place. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. But if we don't do... And if that happens, everyone will blame me since I'm the one who brought you here. You're right. I'm truly sorry about what happened in Palma Costa. Where are you? I'll give them Ratatosk's core. I'm sorry, Tenebrae. Emil, Knight of Ratatosk, you just sent Lady Marta to her death. Lord Ratatosk's core on her forehead requires energy from her body. The core cannot be separated from her before Lord Ratatosk awakens. Removing it beforehand will surely cause her death. Oh. No, we have to tell her. She already knows. She intends to die for this town and for you, for your petty desire to protect yourself. I just wanted you to know the consequences of your words. I'm going to stop Marta. You'll be ostracized by the people in town. I don't care. Well then, I shall go with you. Lloyd? <laughs> I'm here now. Are you satisfied? Tell us where Ratatosk's core and the Centurion's cores are. I don't have a Centurion's core, but Ratatosk's core is right here. If you want it that badly, you'll have to take it with my head. What a marvelous idea. I think I will. Seize her, men! That was very mean. Come on, Mio, where are you? All right. We no longer have any need for this town. Hand down the divine punishment they deserve. No, wait a minute. You said that you... That's enough. Silence! The orders of Lloyd the Great are absolute. What? <laughs> All right, men, the time has come. Pillage! Kill! Show them the divine punishment of the goddess Martell! Yes, sir! Whoa, somebody doesn't know what right and wrong are. This is definitely not good. Oh no, my house is on fire. Yikes! Snaps. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. You hear what I said? Oh no, he's hulked out. I said, Stop, you miserable swine! He's angry. I'll teach you the true meaning of divine punishment. Oh, snaps. He's really angry. Okay. What the? Okay. Go. What the? What the? Okay. 
These guys need to learn some skills. There we go. Limit break. It's over. What the? Oh, this guy. I don't think he's ever been in a battle before. He has no idea what's going on. Okay. What's gonna happen now? Stand up, Marta. Now then, time for your punishment. You better pray to Martel one last time. Pray to her for a painless death. Oh, he's really angry. Get to those against the goddess Martel. So I'm thinking Ratatosk is definitely got a hold on this guy right now. He's got a little bit Hulk on us. He's Hulked in. Ouch. Stop it. Ooh. Holy... Thank you, Marta. I don't want to die. He's extremely slow as well. Yeah, we'll take this. Limit break. He's almost dead. How could I? Good, good. <laughs> You're so amazing. Shut up. There's nothing. I love the way you said that. I'm not fighting anymore. Wow, we got thirty thousand five hundred and twenty gold. That was insane. We all leveled up too. Skill backstep. Interesting. See what's going on now. That's not creepy at all. I, I don't understand. Who are you? He's a demon. The question is, who the hell are you? Well, let's see your divine punishment now. Go ahead, show it to me. Are you listening? Oh, snaps. Ratatosk is gone. What? What did I do? Uh, now what am I doing? Where do I need to go? Out of town? There's Vanguard and Knights. There's only two exits to this town. Not a whole lot I can do. Uh, this way? It's them kids. The twins. Dita, Maul. They didn't run away. Apparently they survived. They're troopers. Good job, them. What up, guys? Oh, hey! How, how are you? You doing good? We're pretty busy, so, uh... Yeah, it's not like we're afraid of you or anything. <laughs> oh. It's not like that was obvious or anything. Both the Vanguard and the Martel Knights have left town. Phew. Good. 
The mayor wants to talk to you. Will you come? Yeah, sure. Uh, mayor. Promise. Emil, thank you. You saved me again. Yeah. I, I'll always be on your side. That's a promise. So cheer up, okay? Thanks, Marta. Oh, looks like he made a friend. Best friends forever. Uh-oh. Is that his aunt and uncle? This is gonna be ugly. Hey, Emil. guys. Aunt Flora, I... Get away from us, you monster! Whoa, Chris. Harsh language. How could you? No, it's okay. It's okay. He's used to it by now, I guess? <sighs> Alright, fine. Don't say anything different. I'm okay with that. Mayor? Mayor Wolverine? I'm back. Emil, thank you for coming. I have a favor to ask of you. What sort of favor? I want you to go find Lloyd for me. Lloyd? For you? Is this... is this your way of telling me to leave? No. I simply cannot believe what just happened here. Yeah, the you and me both. I know would never allow this kind of slaughter and looting, even on orders from the church. Well, if he was a good guy, possibly. But... I didn't believe what you said about Paul Costa until today. But it seems that the same thing almost happened to our town. Almost? I'm just not sure what to believe anymore. Mm-hmm. Mayor, it doesn't take much for people to change. Like me. <laughs> that may be so. Which is exactly why I want you to investigate this. Why Lloyd changed like he did, and why he's looking for Rotatosk and the Centurion's cores. How does he know all that? So this is how you plan to protect Emil from the fear of the townspeople? Ooh. The people of our town are easily frightened. Please forgive them. But I believe this is for your own good. Hmm. I'll look for Lloyd, and then... I will avenge my parents. Ooh. I understand. I won't try to stop you. Emil, our town may be full of people who fear you, but this is still your home. I know it may sound hard to believe now, but once things calm down, I want you to come back. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Emil. Thank you. For saving Lewin. You're welcome, Mayor Sideburns. You're welcome. Are we on our own again? Oh. So you may be wondering why does the voice of Emil and Ratatosk sound so familiar? There's one reason, and one reason only. Obviously, he's a famous voice actor, to a degree. He voices the main character, Ichigo, in Bleach, and his Ratatosk voice is exactly the same as Ichigo. And I recognized him straight away from that. Emil, wait! Well, I'm waiting. Marta? Tenebrae and I are going with you. Good. I don't want to go alone. Why? The whole point of our journey is to find the Centurion's course and wake up Ratatop. So Lloyd is our common enemy. Since we share the same objective, it would be in our best interest to work together. Good. But... I'm... You also made a pact with Ratatosk as a knight, right? And Ratatosk is stuck on me. So that means you have to protect me. Hmm. As I told you before, Lady Marta had been looking for you. She wanted the boy who saved her back in Palma Costa, you, to be a knight of Ratatosk. So please, 
It's partly my fault that things ended up the way they did. Let us go with you. I really don't remember meeting you before. Are you okay with that? It's okay, because I remember. And you're brave, so I feel like I can count on you. <laughs> you think I'm brave? I'm nothing like that. No, you really are. You already saved me several times since we met again. And you wouldn't have done that if you didn't have courage. That's why I want to go with you. We can start off as friends, right? Start off? Question mark? Of course, I don't mind being more than friends. Aw, oh, she likes him. <laughs> Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. It's just like he said. What? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Why don't we get going? Alright. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Aww. So cute. Where are we going? New. Asgard. A city with many ancient ruins. The windmills and the stone dais are symbols of the city. So we're going to Asgard? Very interesting. Very interesting. Chapter 2 Troubled Heart. This is some wind. Yeah. Come on, take it like a man. Oh. That's easy to say. <laughs> It may be difficult to believe, but Lady Marta is depending on you. <laughs> so please, try to act like a man in front of her. <laughs> not you too. I'm not sure if I can. What's keeping you two? Come on, we need to ask if anyone's seen Lloyd. Let's hurry! Wherever Lloyd is, that's where the Centurion's cores are. So let's find the mayor and ask if Lloyd's come by, okay? Right. Strange weather patterns, eh? Wow, this wind is really something. Right now, all sorts of strange weather patterns are happening around the world. It's all because of the joining of the worlds two years ago. Hmm. But everything will work out if the Centurion's cores are hatched, right? That should be true in theory. In theory. Wait, what do you mean theory? Uh oh. Things are not always as simple as they appear. Yeah. Huh? It's probably gonna be like another huge quest that we have to do after that. Pretty sure this is the inn. Well, at least there's a safe point. Phew, okay. That was a lot of a lot of story in that episode or couple episodes. Anyway, I've been Trifinity Vortex. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the exploration of Asgard. So bye for now.